Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Unsurprisingly, the US media, the mainstream media, is not trusted. Not because it says more lies than before, but because now we have more ways of disclosing and showing their lies. How? Because of this, for instance, because of the telephones that we have. You just need a phone. Fuck! Videotape it and when the new media reports something, you say, no, that's not true. You can post that and you can send it to someone that can post it like me and like others better than me with more audience than audience than me. That's the whole reason why the mass media and the owners of the mass media don't like people like me and this ability to spread the information and they call us uh, spreading disinformation and misinformation. Why? Because we catch them every time they lie and they don't like that a bit. And I'm going to show you an um, opinion poll here where they're going to show us how much the media is believed and trusted in the United States of America. Remember, this media, the mainstream media, the corporate media, had full power in the 1980s, 1970s, 60s, and so on, because all the news that you got, you got from those three big or four big conglomerates that owned almost everything else. That's it. You couldn't verify it unless they came and told you. Remember, you had, had a stupid newspaper that was telling you what you needed to know. That's all. You can't verify that unless you call someone where that occurred and someone that really saw it and you couldn't do that. So then that's why they could destroy or create politicians, create problems, hide, bury problems and so on. And they lost that power and they tried to censor us now, calling us, oh, disinformation, misinformation when they, when they actually are fake news. Let me show you this article here. Coming from Russia today on the 20th of October 2023. Confidence in US media hits record low. Unsurprisingly, loss less than a third of Americans say they trust mass media to report the news fully and accurately. I'm assuming those are very old people who still watch regular television, CNN, as they, it used to be, or whatever they used to watch, and they cannot access the internet because they don't know what that is, for instance. Or there are some people who are too lazy, or some people that are too dumb, uh, who else can watch that? Someone who's very satisfied with what they have and they live in a bubble and they don't want that bubble to be burst. I met people like this that refused, refused to find out the truth. They felt good in their lie. They refused to look outside. If you would provide them with the information and the source and say, look, this is what these guys, your guys that you were watching are saying, and this is what the actual video is, what this guy actually said versus what is reported. They will refuse to listen and they will hate you know who? Me! For pointing out and destroying their worldview. Their... But the problem is they vote. People like that voted. They didn't want to look around whatsoever. And they called you names, obviously, because they didn't have an argument. So I think these are the people who watch this kind of garbage. So only 32% of Americans trust the media to report the news fairly and accurately. I think actually is even less than that. While a record 39% do not trust the media at all, at all, according to a Gallup poll published Friday. The share of Americans who expressed, expressed some amount of trust in the media matches the record low the pollster recorded in 2016 while the previous record for total distrust was 38 percent even demo even <laughs> like they're there even the democrats who tend to have more confidence in the media than republicans have lost faith in the news over the last year to a significant degree just just 58 percent expressed some level of trust it's too much anyway this is 12 point decline from 2022's figures attributing the diminishing trust among younger Democrats. They watch YouTube. 
they watch, they have Instagram, they have many other ways where they can get uh, the Instagram the communication, where they get the platforms, they get the news. They're not going to say, oh, it's nine o'clock, let's watch, let's watch that, that, that idiot or something. Look how many people watch, for instance, that, that weasel Hannity, for instance, or others. Um, remember when it's Cuomo and was the other guy, the black guy, whatever his name is, uh, Le with a French name that uh, Tucker Carlson was making fun. Over overnight, they were making what? 600 people, 600,000 people a night. Uh, Tucker was making 4 million or something. Barely 4 million out of 330 million. Here you take the other, other population. Let's say you get it as a more than half. So you get it to 180 million, let's say at least. I will get it to more, 200 million. I got 200 million from a population to the population of 200 million. It's 800,000 people that watch your evening news. Jesus Christ, take it as a proportion. Take it as a, as a proportion. Anyway, so um, let's go back to this article. Only 11% of Republicans reported some confidence in the media establishment, according to Friday's poll. However, the 47-point gap between respondents from the two major U.S. political parties is the narrowest record since two recorded since 2016, when Republicans' trust is in the establishment had fallen dramatically. 2016, because that was when these guys dropped the mask completely, and it was easy even for an idiot to see it unless you were in a bubble or you hated the orange man so badly that you believed anything that these guys were saying. And I know people with me in the office that were like jerking. Oh my God. Oh, they're going to arrest. Uh, they were, they were have a, uh, how do you call it? Um, uh, collective uh, jerk off in the office or wherever I was going. And they were all happy. Ah, they said last night, Trump was going to get arrested. Trump is a Russian spy. Trump. I was like, Oh my God, you're so dumb. You're so gullible, but you know why? Because you're ignorant. You don't know anything. Ask them, okay, what's the population of, let's say, state of Michigan? Or tell me the, I don't know, the capital of uh, the state of New York. Or I don't know, tell me the capital of, I don't know, Bangladesh or something. They don't know shit. Nothing. But they, they knew. And if you try to discuss with them, you were talking like with toddlers, technically, basically, directly. Anyway, my friends. The survey sampled 1,016 Americans during the first two weeks in September. Even in the midst of the fake news crisis during the 2016 presidential election, the Americans poll, polled were more likely to say they had not very much trust in the media, 41%, rather than not at all, 27%. While between 68% and 72% of Americans expressed some amount of trust in the media when polled in the 1970s, when they are, had the monopoly, that proportion had declined significantly in recent years, since 2005, when 44% of the poll respond, responders expressed some confidence in the media establishment. Fewer than half have told Gallup that they trusted the media to report the news fairly and accurately. In July, a Gallup poll found just 18% of respondents had confidence in, in newspapers and just 16% in television news. Good, they got what they got, what they deserve. Lower than big tech or the banking industry, 26% each. Only Congress, 8%. And these guys are the most important people. They lead us, 8%. 8% right there. And big business, 14%. My friends, uh, journalists' ethical standards were rated as low or very low by 42%. Of course, they have all agendas. Good job. We live in a healthy society. That's what it is. Dissent is good. Why? If you have too much agreement that's manufactured. I mean, we can agree that this is good or that is bad according to what we by convention determine is good or bad. Okay? Then, uh, yeah, you can have uh, certain things. But politically, uh, too much con uh, you know, um, unanimity is uh, stupidity. Thank you very much for being with me again today. And that is because this kind of things that we have right here and the telephone that you can communicate you can spread the news put post it on facebook post it on x or twitter and a lot of people will see what do you mean they lied they lied and the skeptics skeptics we want to find who find want to find the truth they will say wait a minute what's going on here but people who don't want to uh find the truth and they are just want to be comfortable in their little lie they should go to sleep watch cnn stay home 
uh, sleep uh, in the afternoon, order online, stay at home, wear masks while they're driving cars and garbage like this and make us wear masks because they can vote and if you have three just like this, those guys will say, see, people want everybody to wear masks. How many? Three out of how many? So you make, you institute policies on, on a large scale based on what? On a majority of people or a minority? And even if it's a minority, you can't say, you know, we're gonna gang against you, we're gonna get your money, let's vote. Who's for it? We're gonna get this billionaire's money, we're gonna spread it among ourselves. It doesn't work that way. I thought that freedom is like that, but no, it's not like that. In this, no, even a little minority can dictate to a big majority here. All right, I'm glad with those. I'm glad. The problem is, why did we get here? Because we have a fucked up society. People, garbage. What do you want? Those guys who are over there, 8% in Congress, believe in, in, in Congress, is because the Congress, the people are lying. That means the political system. How can you go and vote if only 8% believe in the politicians, in, in the Congress? Those are the people that were voted. There's not only, I don't know, 8% of people who really uh, believe in, uh, in the Congress. We have more 8% and they vote. Why do they vote? I don't like you. I don't like me. This is my interest. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.